Hey everyone, Edwards here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to connect to a DHCP server on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should take in consideration is to enable DHCP using the control panel. To do this press the Windows button then simply type control and then select control panel from the search results. In here just go to the view by section, click it and then select large icons from the drop down menu. Now click on network and sharing center. In the network and sharing center you have to access the network that you are connected to and then click on the Properties button. Now find the Internet Protocol version 4 and then select the Properties button that corresponds to it. In here in the General tab, make sure to click on Obtain an IP address automatically and also check the Obtain DNS server address automatically. Now you can click on OK to save the changes. But in case you want to disable the DHCP, you can click the Use the following IP address and also use the following DNS server addresses. From here on you can type in your own IP address, subnet mask and default gateway for your network. And below you can also connect to your preferred DNS server. After you're done, you can just click on OK to save the changes. You can also enable the DHCP via the Settings menu. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply select the Settings icon, and then in here make sure to click on Network and Internet on the left pane, and afterwards just click on the Properties button next to your connection. Now in here you can fiddle with both IP Assignment Edit button and DNS Server Assignment Edit button. So if you click one of them, you can see that you have a drop-down menu. Just click it and select either automatic or manual. So in our case, let's select manual. So in here you can see that you have the IPv4, which is the Internet Protocol version 4 option. Just turn it on and you can see that the same as in the control panel, you can input an IP address, subnet mask or gateway. But this is in case you want it disabled and you want certain specific preferences for your PC. Otherwise, just disable the toggle to off and then click again on the drop-down menu and select automatic and then click on save. You can do the same things to the DNS server assignment. So click on the edit button, now click on the drop down menu and select manual and in here either make sure that IPv4 is on, you can also input the preferred DNS and alternate DNS data or otherwise you can also let it be turned off, select the drop down menu and click on automatic and then save the changes. And another great method is to troubleshoot the DHCP issues. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply select the settings icon. In here, click on Network and Internet on the left pane, and then on the right side, scroll down until you find the Advanced Network Settings and click it. Again, scroll down way until you find the Network Reset section and select it, and afterwards just press on the Reset Now button next to Network Reset. Now the network will be reset, you can close down settings, and then lastly just restart your PC. You can then check if you have any problems with the DHCP. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.